Hi, my name is David Rodwin, and this is The Life. So last night, I went out for soup by myself. When I arrived, it looked like it was closed. I almost turned around and went right out of the parking lot, but then I noticed there was one person sitting inside. And since I was feeling under the weather, I decided it was a fine thing to go in and sit down there with just one other person. Now, once I was there, I started to feel better already. The smells of udon are a healing thing. But when the soup came out, I got sad. Because I first went to Mishima 15 years ago on my first date with a woman I fell in love with instantly. And we dated for a number of years. And during that time, we developed something really wonderful. We would eat food together. And by that, I don't just mean, you know, you're not eating alone. I mean, we would know how to share food. And one of the things that was most important was that when we were having udon at Mishima, I would never eat the fake crab. Now, that was partially because it never really appealed to me that much. I think I had it when I was a kid years ago and I didn't like the taste, but she loved it. So I always made sure to save it for her. I mean, she did similar things for me. You know, I, whenever she would have pizza, she would save the crust for me and I would eat the crusts. But the udon was important because our first date was at a Mishima. And there was something about that intimacy of taking something from someone else's bowl that is just so sweet. So I'm there trying to feel better looking at my udon and looking at that stupid fake crab cake thing. You know the pink and white thing that just sits there looking like a little, I don't know, slice of an egg or something except it's pink? So I ate my soup feeling better with every spoonful but when I got down to the bottom there were just a few strands of stray udon and that little piece of fake crab meat and I stared at it and all these thoughts and feelings rushed back to me about that relationship and I ended the relationship because she was a number of years older than me and she wanted to settle down she wanted to have kids and while she didn't always put it in those terms the way she described it was that she wanted to have a partner for life and for me a partner for life sounded like a ball and chain it sounded like a sentence like partner for life 19 years to life it was just going to be unbearable and and it, it felt like there was no freedom within that there was no joy within that it was just you were captured a partner for life but I was thinking about how wonderful she was in so many ways as I'm toying with this little piece of imitation crab. And it was a good thing that I ended the relationship because a few months later she met a guy, she fell in love, she had a baby. And here I was, still alone, at age 42 having a meal by myself in a nearly abandoned restaurant. And I tried to tell myself I should be grateful for this opportunity. I mean, if I had gotten married 15 years ago, I would have kids. The idea when you have like a bunch of kids that you get a night alone by yourself with some peace and quiet, just you and some udon soup, what a joy and a treasure that would be. But I was having a hard time convincing myself because I don't have those kids, and I don't have that wife, and instead it was just me and a piece of imitation crab. So I took the thing up in my chopsticks, and for the first time in over 15 years, I bit into it. And like Proust with the Madeleine, all of these memories came back. But I also remembered why I didn't want the damn imitation crab in the first place. It's terrible. It's, it's, it's like chewing a, a piece of rubber that has this slightly sweet taste, which I think they mean as the, the imitation of what crab tastes like. And crab can have a slightly sweet taste to it, but it's this raw, organic complexity that's very slight in its sweetness, and it's combined with the savoriness, especially when you dunk it in the butter. And this was just artificial sweet and chewy like octopus. It was terrible. And I remembered why I was always happy to give it to her. <laughs> but the thing that actually made me happiest was seeing the smile on her face when she would take it from my bowl. Because it was something about the sharing that made it all that much sweeter. 
And as I was chewing and trying to swallow down that disgusting piece of imitation crab, it became really clear to me that I am ready to share my food again. Don't know who it will be with, I don't know when it'll come, but I hope it'll happen soon. My name's David Rodwin, and this is The Life.